that you've always wanted to dream bigger than you ever I'm from I'm from New York. Yeah, hasta la vista, baby. I'm living proof, so I've got to let you know. It started as a hobby, then became a trade. And people calling on me, now I'm getting paid. Get busy, get busy. <laughs> busy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get busy, get busy. I'll come on. amazing days in a city that's full of history and life and culture and we're also going to check out some music from our new friend here and see what's really good out there so until then the next time you see me i'm going to be in italy Temple with Morgan. We arrived, we're in Rome, Italy. I'm so excited, and we're right in the middle of St. Peter's Square. This is where the Pope comes to address literally the nation, uh, right here in the middle of St. Peter's Square. So, you see behind me, it was just recently Easter Sunday, and they had a great celebration here. All the chairs are here. They're doing a little bit of construction. There's a lot of people on holiday here. I'm walking around and taking pictures and it's really great energy and, and I have to tell you out of all the trips that I've taken this is probably the most special um, because I've never been to Italy and so this is really really a great and uh, important trip for me there's lots of history here lots of culture here and as I discover you're gonna come along with me for the ride so welcome to Rome Obviously, you know, if you're thirsty, there may be a water fountain. And then you might not want to use it because you just don't know what's happened to it since before you got there. But here in Rome, you know, this has been streaming for thousands of years and you just stick your hand under here and you go like this. It's really good. It tastes like it's just it's really good. I don't know. Water. I don't know. Like they say, when in Rome. It's pretty good. Castel Sant'Angelo is a towering cylindrical building in Rome, initially commissioned by the Roman Emperor Hadrian as a mausoleum for himself and his family. The building was later used as a fortress and castle and now is a museum, which overlooks a bridge called Ponte Sant'Angelo, also known as the Blonde River because of the color of the water. So for dinner, I went to the Mimi and Coco wine bar. I had carbonara, I enjoyed the atmosphere, I tasted some salad, and it was great. Bon appetit. So after dinner, I went in search for some traditional Italian gelato, which is known all over the world as the best. It's not melted, but it's not frozen, and it's definitely not haagen -Dazs. It was great. This is Campo di Fiori, and this is a statue of philosopher Giordano Bruno. It's also where a lot of young people hang out. There are a lot of restaurants and bars, and it's open quite late, and it's a great place to just hang out right in the square and have a drink with friends. So the best part about kind of scavenging around and looking at Rome in the evening is there's no traffic, there's no people bumping and pushing into you because it's a lot of people here. But at every turn, there's a little bit of history. And not just a little bit, actually a lot. And if you see behind me, there's a Colosseum over my left shoulder here. And it's just beautiful. And you're, you're walking and you look up and it's like, oh my God, there's a Colosseum. Or oh my God, there's another museum or, or some other form of, of history. And it's just so 
rich in history here in Rome. We're probably walking um, on top of something underneath the ground that they don't even know about. Um, and so that's what's really special about Rome. And so let's keep going and see what else we can kind of get into and what other surprises wait for us around the corner. So we're walking and just beautiful street art just happens to come up. You see graffiti art, you see street art all the time. But this is a masterpiece and they also left their blog uh, at the top. So we're going to have to contact that person and find out like how long this took. I think it's pretty amazing. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> 